Next, we're going to work on the arm assembly. It consists of part F, six ball joints, and six M3 by 10 millimeter bolts. If you can see, if you can notice here, the on these outside holes, you're gonna have these little hash mark lines. And just like earlier, when you install these ball joints, you're gonna make sure that they line up with the hash marks. So we'll keep that in mind when we're putting this together. So basically you're gonna take your bolt, putting these together, we'll screw in the bolt to the ball joint, tighten it on there. And like last time, you can stick a screwdriver in there and twist it till it lines up with your hash mark. And that's about right. All right, we're done. Now we're gonna work on assembling the extruder arms. You're gonna take two extruder arm pieces together and you're gonna utilize an M3 by 20 millimeter bolt and M3 nut. So you're gonna bolt them together Always be aware that not to over tighten on the acrylic, but do tighten it firmly. That's one. For this portion of our video, we're going to need six M3 nuts, our assembled arms, and our centerpiece. We need to attach the arms to the centerpiece with the bolt facing in to the center as much as possible so when you get these in there attach a bolt attach the nut to the bolt tighten it firmly and you want to complete all six arms onto the centerpiece. Once you assembled all six arms onto the centerpiece, this is what it should look like. Now we're ready to attach the arms to each end. Use another six M3 nuts to attach the arms to the arm brackets. 